Yeah, so let's start with the planting maybe. You can see from here, this, this shamba had, uh, had wheat before. So you can see now, we planted it straight into the, the, the stubble from the wheat, yeah? This wheat is lying on the, the wheat stubble is lying on the surface, keeping that muchanga from getting too dry. Um, right now you can see these cracks. This is that classic black cotton muchanga. Um, but you see that muchanga is full of roots from the, from the wheat crop. Um, and it's, it's cracking now because it's dry, because the sunflowers have thawed most of the moisture. Any moisture that was in there is now we're doing about almost 5,000 acres. Um, started in 2014. So we've been doing um, seven years, about seven years now, um, expanding Pole Pole. Um, we do a variety of different crops um, for rotation. And uh, we're utilizing a technique called conservation agriculture. Uh, the idea being that um, all the rain that is falling on the soil is conserved. Um, so we're not, in order to do that, because we're in a low, low rainfall environment, um, we don't ever want to lima, so we're zero till, completely zero till. There's no limering on this shamba. The first time we lima, then it's flat. After that, it's just rotation and controlling the weeds with, uh, with chemicals. Um, in order to be able to zero till, we have to control compaction. Um, and so to do that, we have everything on a GPS and, every, and all our machinery is a certain size uh, in order to fit that pattern. So you end up with hard roadways on your shamba and then soft area for planting. The soil type here is mainly black cotton. Um, we chose black cotton because it's very high, it has a very high water holding capacity, um, which is why everybody gets stuck in it when it rains. Um, what that means is that it can absorb a lot of rain so that when you grow your crops there, they have a lot of, they have like a large moisture bank to use. Um, other soil types don't hold as much water and it runs away. Um, so you're wasting it. So here we've chosen black cotton on purpose. Although most guys don't like it, we, we really like it. Um, yeah, another, one other thing is very important to note. If you look at the shamba here, because we haven't limited it, we're left with all the crop residue from previous crops. What that does is uh, provides a mulch on the surface, which protects the soil from the, the wind, the sun, anything which is going to dry it out. Um, so that's, that's where we're going with the moisture conservation. It's like when you plant a tree, you, put a, you plant the tree and you put some, some leaves, some chaff around the top to stop the tree drying out. That's the same technique we're using here with the, the chaff from the previous crop. When it doesn't rain at all, you just have to wait. Until the rain comes. Yeah, yeah. So what we're doing now is, like on this shamba here, for example, we're just waiting. We're controlling the weeds, letting, letting the rain come, whatever rain comes will soak in. And we're, it's like putting your maji in the bank, you know? Yeah. Just keeping it there in the, in the moisture, in the, in the soil, sorry. And waiting for the right time to plant. The key for managing any pest really is rotation because uh, something that, some disease or pest that sumbua is gano, will not sumbua sunflowers or canola or, or mahindi, for example. So. If you look at how many crops we grow, wheat, barley, canola, sunflowers, mahindi, chickpeas. Um, so every time you plant another crop behind the previous one, you're naturally controlling those, those diseases and pests. Um, so if you, if you can plant, say, gano every four or five years, you're naturally going to be much better at controlling those diseases. We have to, we have to spray dawa like everyone else, as in if you have caterpillars, you have to you have to spray those. If you have fungus fungus problem, you have to spray that. But rotation, I would say, is the most effective way of controlling that. Say, um, going back to your comment regarding limering, I would say limering, limering is very bad for your muchanga. It kills, it kills all the soil biology. Every time you smush it like that, it kills the earthworms, um, kills any fungus, any bacteria that's beneficial. Um, your soil biology goes downhill. You get like a sterile shamba that's uh, is never going to yield as well as something that has a lot of organic matter, a lot of uh, a lot of good doodos, a lot of hummus, that kind of thing. Um, that together with uh, uh, the drying out of the muchanga is, is, um, is the main problem with limering. Mm. In places like uh, 
where there's a high rainfall, you can you can get away with it, and guys do. It also causes other problems like erosion, especially on mulimas. You know, you always have those big gullies on the shamba. Um, so for us, yeah, limbering is it's is by some. Mm -hmm.